My 11 inch iPad Pro has been an absolutely incredible tool in supercharging my productivity in these last two years. I've written three books, including landing a deal with a major publishing house and made over 300 videos across YouTube, Facebook, and other platforms, and also filmed using my iPhone, all put together and made on my iPad Pro. It is an astonishing tool, and this is from someone who passed on the original iPad for the first year. It was out because I was waiting for Apple to get it right. They got it right, but they only got it right because of the accessories that I could use that unleash the power of the iPad Pro for supercharged productivity that really made my dreams come true. I mean, I never thought I'd write a book, let alone three. One of the best parts of owning an iPad is that you're never short on accessories. There's a wealth of cases, cables, adapters, styli, keyboards, and stands out there to trick out your tablet. This video is about the top five accessories and tools that have helped me to get the most out of my iPad Pro and that I recommend you consider to get the best out of yours too. This will set you up with a turbocharged portable writing studio and video and audio production studio of the very highest quality. Let's start with input. The best keyboard I tried when I was shopping around was also one of the most expensive, but I think it has been worth every dollar of investment over these two years. The Magic Keyboard is a stunning companion for iPad Pro 11 inch and iPad Air. It features extraordinary typing experiences, a trackpad that works really well with iPad OS, a USB-C port for pass-through charging, and front and back protection. The Magic Keyboard has this floating cantilever design allowing you to attach that iPad Pro magnetically and to smoothly adjust it for that perfect viewing angle for you. And it works very, very well. If you really want to indulge, Apple's own Magic Keyboard really is the way to go. The key arrangement, spacing, and lovely scissor action is second to none for its typing comfort. It's easily the fanciest keyboard available for the iPad Pro, and it's one to consider if money is no object, or if you want the most stylish iPad keyboard money can buy. It's pretty unbeatable, and I don't think I could have done what I have done without it. Well, I think I would have at least been slower and less compelled to use it as much. It's a keyboard that you look forward to using and start thinking about ways you can find a few minutes to whip it out and work, when otherwise you might just be happy watching something or other on your iPhone. Next up, we have the Apple Pencil 2. This probably won't come as a surprise, but the Apple Pencil is the best stylus you can get for the iPad. Both the first and second generation pencils are designed to work specifically with iPads, and it shows in their smooth writing performance. The second gen stylus has a double tap feature that you can customize to a certain degree, and pressure sensitivity allows you to add as much or as little detail as you want to digital artwork or note taking. The second advantage of the second generation pencil is that they figured out charging much better, enabling you to draw charge from the magnetic mount on the edge of the iPad directly, rather than the cap and lightning connector arrangement of the original pencil. That worked fine, but I always felt a little fragile on that, that I was gonna lose the lid or something. I also like the flat side of the pencil too, which means it doesn't always roll away, and that edge is helpful in gripping that pencil sometimes. But the pencil really comes into its own when I'm editing video. I use LumaFusion as my video production platform. The ability of the pencil to go in and make cuts and selections really quickly means my editing time just flies. The Apple Pencil 2 is a critical part of my video editing workflow and for the occasional podcast using Ferrite on my iPad Pro 2. It's amazing, it's vital, and a must-have accessory for the iPad Pro. Next up, and still talking about inputs and editing, what's really helped me with my productivity in the last two years is an input port. And in this case, you really don't need to spend much to get something amazing, providing additional flexibility for your iPad. Just having one USB-C port is pretty limiting. 
you can free that up for a data hub using the USB-C charging input on the Magic Keyboard, but you can really leverage that single data input with a hub, including an easy method to hard link your iPad to a monitor or TV. This hub that I use has two USB-A ports, SD and micro SD card inputs, and an HDMI port for output to that TV monitor or projector, as well as an additional USB-C pass-through data and charge port. Now you can get these pretty cheap. I picked this one up at Kmart for under $40, which compared to some other options is an absolute steal. Next, let's talk about storage. And my best use case has changed recently here. Whereas I was first using a Wi-Fi link to offload my video projects to a separate storage hard drive, the Western Digital My Passport Wireless Pro, it wasn't an optimal solution. It has incredible capacity at four terabytes and a pass-through wireless data connection. I could use the wireless connection to stay connected to the internet, as well as being able to use the remote hard drive as a storage device to export completed projects, but it was slow very slow. Great for remote working, but nowhere near optimal. That all changed when I started using a two terabyte Samsung T7 portable SSD drive. This thing is tiny, lightning fast, and works really well with LumaFusion. What could take up to 40 minutes using my old Wi-Fi drive setup to offload a saved project now takes less than five seconds using this hardwired Samsung T7. SSD. It has absolutely transformed my workflow and ensures that I always have plenty of space on my 256 gigabyte iPad Pro. Finally, let's talk about how I work. I love listening to music when I work, especially writing, but it has to be unobtrusive and low key. A bit like you're hearing now from Epidemic Sound in the background. I also love the noise of a low key cafe if I happen to be in that environment. So along with my Apple Music subscription, my Apple AirPods Pro are perfect for me to shut out the world and focus on my work with their noise cancelling capability, still providing me with a lo-fi beat as a rhythm for my typing. And I can also use transparency mode if I want to let a little bit of that ambient cafe sound into my consciousness too. Magic Keyboard, Apple Pencil 2, USB-C Hub, Samsung T7 SSD, and my Apple AirPods Pro. That's my productivity kit for getting the very best out of my iPad Pro. Did I miss an accessory you use all the time? Let me know in the comments below and check this one out next from me. I'm Saab Johal, this is Apple Plus, maybe consider subscribing and see you here again soon.